What is up, guys? I'm Rook here from Rook Here's Gaming. Today, I thought I'd play a little game called Life is Feudal. Um, it's pretty cool. I played it a long time ago when it was more fresh out of, uh, like, the beginning of early access. And a friend was like, hey, we should play this again. This is him, Merlika Von Tuna. Very wise man. Um, seems like they've improved a lot of things, it's running a lot smoother, and it just seems like a much better experience than it was before. It's a survival medieval game. On this little island here, I'm sure you can see the top right corner. Uh, very hardcore. Indeed. What do I need to do today? Today we're, we're playing on a little bit of a hardcore server. Um, not hardcore. Roleplay server, that's the term I was looking for. Anyhow, this game, it's kind of got like an Ultima Online feel, if any of you have ever played that. Because it has a bunch of skills you can level up. And there's like a skill point cap, so you can build your character only a certain way. And if you're not careful, you could end up becoming too much of a jack of all trades. Which kind of can kind of be good. You know, kind of good at everything. Not specializing in anything. But sometimes it's good to specialize. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. Well, in, um, in terms of a survival game, it is possible to solo this. It's just super, not super difficult, but like, it takes a lot of work. Everything in this game takes a lot of work. Kind of earns the nickname when uh, another friend and I played a long time ago, uh, Progress Bar, the game. Because so many progress bars. It looks like they sped things up quite a bit. There's still a lot of progress bars, but I don't, like, want to shoot myself in the head as I'm doing them. Um, let's see. Uh, one cool feature is people can lay down, like, claim actual land, and when other players who you aren't friendly with, or know, enter that land... Uh oh Timber! That was cool. Um. Anywho. What was I saying? Oh. It'll alert people when people uh, it'll alert you when people have stepped into your land. I ran into that earlier when I was trying to find my friend. I walked into this uh, this huge castle's like area without meaning to. It was a big area. It was like the big land. I think was the name of their territory. Dude rode out, found me right away. You know, we talked, did some role play. What are you doing here, friend? You know that sort of thing. It's pretty cool. And from what I can tell, the servers are pretty stable, or at least this one is, because my internet's crap, and I've been lately disconnecting from, like, everything. So the fact I haven't been kicked from this and everything's running smoothly and pretty well in sync is actually rather impressive. Alright, so we're going to move this log. Let's see here. Not there. Got properly positioned logs, so you know they look nice. So you can't have not properly positioned logs. That would be terrible. There we go. All right. So right now, oh, we didn't build this house. I should probably explain. You can build a lot of things in the game. Those castles I mentioned earlier, which. If I happen to see one, I will gladly show you. All player built. We just happened to ran across some poor guy's house that he abandoned from when he played the game forever ago. It didn't belong to anyone, so we just kind of saved ourselves uh, like 20-something hours of work and just moved in. Does that make me a jerk? 
possibly. Am I lazy? Most definitely. But yeah. I think other cool features about the game. Um, it feels pretty realistic, like much closer to a medieval sandbox simulator than, say, Reign of Kings. That's more of a Rust sort of game than an actual sort of simulator, at least in my opinion. Um, let me show you some of the things. Your inventory, it's got that uh, Ultima feel. I think I mentioned before how it's kind of got a lot of those similarities. You got a bag, stack things onto things, you got a weight limit, got my food up here, got my sticks over here, plant fiber, torch. You can equip four things at once to draw. You got right, left, hip, weapon, or in my case, tools. And you got the back, so you can go all Geralt of Rivia on people's butts. You wear a helmet, necklace. I've got the this uh, rags on just because that's what it starts with. Oh joy, there's a boar incoming. Got other items. Oh great. You got super far out of range. Oh, that's scary. Run away. I don't know if I could fight a boar. I definitely was not prepared. Where did all my stuff go? Oh, when I hit flee, did I just drop it and run? I did. Ah, where's my stuff? Oh no, so we might get a taste of the combat. I'm not going to try and fight it hand to hand. That would just be like the death of me. So we're going to get an axe at least. And hope I don't die. The general goal is hope I don't die. Is it four? There you are, you jerk. This is for my friend. This boar is absolutely vicious. Holy crap. I might not live. Uh oh. Running! Yep, I lost consciousness. Well, that sucked. a freaking monster like holy crap I was not expecting to get that owned by a boar uh whoops okay cool I didn't die Man, that hurt! Ow! I, I, I 
about how I feel about being destroyed by a boar. Apparently he's praying, and now he's gone? Looks like my friend did the little prayer thing, you could teleport back to your home, and he forgot to set the place we found as his home. Oh, he's across the shore. Okay. Where'd that pig go? I'm rather terrified. Oh, well, we're gonna go get back to work. Wait, is that the pig? No, okay, never mind, we're good. I'm, like, legit gonna be scared of pigs now. But yeah, uh, other cool things about the game. Alright, I was reviewing things. Um, we got this, which I'm assuming is an arm slot, hand slot, we got some rings. Pants, shoes. What's this? Oh, I can show where I'm hurt. I apparently have some broken ribs. Good to know. Kind of figured that was the case, but I can live with some broken ribs. All right, now skills. We got three. Usually about two or three sets of skills per thing. Here we've got Artisan, which is like building stuff. I'm not really an intellect person, so we're just gonna... I'm just gonna hold off there. Actually, we're just gonna lock it there. That sounds good. Gonna lock that there as well. Construction. I don't really want to build buildings right now. Digging, I might want to dig. Materials prep might be good. Then we've got nature lore, which is foraging for stuff, which could be pretty useful, so definitely gonna keep that. Herbalism might keep that. Farming might be important. Definitely gonna be a hunter. You know, gonna hunt them bears and food, and those boars, those demon boars. You got animal lore, all these other things, but I don't think there's any war horses. Joke, procuration, tailoring, lots of skills. And we got combat. Each server will set a different skill cap. Once you hit that cap, um, you can't increase your skills anymore from what I understand. Unless you set some of these to down, in which case, if you earn points in another skill, that extra point when you're at cap, it'll just be transferred from one that's uh, pointing down to the one that's uh, pointing up. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'm doing a terrible job. You know, we got chivalry, which is like basic militia, from what I understand, and very, you know, chivalrous, honorable fighting. You got your spears, uh, mounted fighting, blades, which I plan to be a blade master. Maybe I'll do shield, or maybe just go straight two-handed. You got your three sets of armor, chainmail, scale, plate. You also wear like padded armor and stuff. Warrior, they're more brutal from what I understand, and can throw stuff. And they also use uh, leather armor, and can use unarmed attacks, parry strikes, or pull weapons, we can use a sling. Basically they're kind of like barbarians, which I'm okay with. What we got here? Uh, maintain your equipment better. Survive bat uh, better. Yeah, survive battle. And bandage self. Well, I'm gonna hate myself for having a low intellect because all these are requiring intellect. Drill. I idea what that does. And here we've got movement, which doesn't really seem to increase much. General actions. Got some emotions. Horseback riding, swimming, arts, mentoring, 
can help people learn things. Uh, praying. Bless people. Call upon mercy. It's probably going to be the closest thing there is to magic, if there is any such thing, which I don't think there is in this game. And then we got authority, which has to do with trading, usually, I believe. Oh, and pointing out trespassers. Here's my stats. Oh, hey, my strength went up. That's cool. Intellect, we're gonna start letting you go up, because holy crap. I don't really need willpower. Well, you know, I'm just gonna leave everything up, except for agility, because I don't care about agility. I'm a good guy. Oh, neutral guy. Not hated, not loved by anyone. Pretty hungry. Oh, kinda hungry. Stamina, health. Do I have a title? I don't have a title. One second. It's now daytime. Freaking everything's out to kill us so far. Well, I forgot to check what are some of these. Is one of these me bleeding out? Because that would suck. Yeah. The graphics? Uh, pretty good. Not complaining. Everything looks pretty good. Not like photorealistic, you know, but they look good. Definitely getting that medieval vibe. Nope, I can't do anything to him. What's the enemy do next? Well, I'm thinking about it. I don't know how loud this is, so we're going to turn that down by a lot. There we go. Alright, I'm going to craft a sickle. Hopefully I've got enough stuff. I need to go get some flint. Which, our base is actually pretty decently located now that I think about it. We got a forest, we got water, got a mountain over here we can run to to collect flints, probably some ore, or just rocks in general. That looks like a wolf over there, so we're gonna we're gonna avoid that nonsense. The island is pretty Stinking big. I mean, you can cross it if you just hardcore run the whole way and hope no one screws with you. It's not like Skyrim or Daggerfall levels of huge, but it's pretty dang big. Oh, that's a bear. Alright, well, pretty far enough in the woods, I shouldn't be bothering that wolf down there by the lake. And hopefully I'm far enough away I don't tick off that bear. So if I tick off that bear, I'm going to have a very bad time, which would be interesting for you guys, but 
I don't know if I'm gonna respawn at that house. I might have a long way to walk. And that would make for a boring video. And technically walking watching me walk all this way now isn't very exciting either, but you know. Alright, let's gather some flint. Mass produce. So we can get as many as possible. Oh, that's right, I forgot. This game is also being turned into an MMO, and uh, from what I can understand from reviews, the developers are pushing everyone to be like, hey, go towards the MMO. Because the MMO is cooler. When everyone's just kind of happy with the smaller, more personal, closer, community-esque feeling of Life is Feudal as it is now, um... Like the your own version. I don't know how an MMO would go. I imagine something like Worm Online or Mortal Online. Which, from my understanding, isn't exactly going well, but it's not going like that either. So, an MMO version of Life of Feudal could be good, could be bad. Don't know. Depends on how they do it and what kind of uh, things are in place. Surely I've got enough flint to last me a good while. 11 sounds good. Let's get back home. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know if the whole island's currently covering snow, just because it's like, you know, it's a snowy time of year in the real world. I mean, it is February in this game, so who knows. Yeah, nice game. Probably recorded a little bit more as like interesting stuff happens because there's not really a whole lot going on right now just kind of building up our little shack here make sure we survive you know what let's try my luck at fishing maybe while you guys are watching I'll get lucky at fishing for once I highly doubt it but it doesn't hurt to dream alright let's equip this fishing pole And give it a go. Fish. Mass produce fish. I don't know if there's a trick to the fishing or if I'm just like terrible at it. If I'm supposed to click at a certain time. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I suck at fishing. We're going to grab some plant fibers real quick. Oh wait, there's probably not enough grass here. I'm going to craft a sickle and I'll see what I can do with farming and then that might be where I call it quits for this episode. Gather wild plants. Take a tunnel. Plant fiber. Mass produce. Oh, so plant fiber is actually increasing my intellect and my strength. Awesome. That should be enough. Alright. I had to craft some tools after I organize everything, because that would be neat. Uh, boom. Pretty permanent tool. And then, where is that sickle? Craft. Produce. So what else can we make? Might be useful. Saw? Nah. Pickaxe? Maybe. Hammer. I think what a hammer could be used for. I honestly don't know. Order and pestle. Need a rock. Well, that'll be what I need the pickaxe for. I can use this to go find rocks. I should probably go ahead and unlock like, all my skills and stop being an idiot. 
so I can make it lower later. Alright, so what can I do with the sickle? We all find out. Pickaxe, you can go on my back and replace the fishing pole. Materials down here, tools we'll keep down here. Food we'll keep up there. Alright, let's see what we can do. Flatten ground, carpentry, search for herbs might be good. Can we plow the field? Need a shovel. Well then by George, we're gonna make a shovel real quick. Cause shovel is like important for everything. Curious what is thing? Create tool, create a snare. Oh nice, we can create a snare. That might be handy. Alright, so let's, let's try this again. Plow the land. See, primitive shovel of one. I guess I equip it. Is it terraforming? Oh yeah, you can terraform the land, that's a cool little feature. I haven't messed with it a whole lot, but... Let's flatten the ground with a downward slope. And I'll just straight flat. Whoops, what did I do there? Alright, well that didn't work, so we sew some flax. Oh, I'm too far away from that train. That's what was going on. Okay, so we gotta slope it first. I'm sure it'll be fine if I just drop some stuff right here. Ooh. Ew, I plant the soil. Interesting. Anywho, that's what I'm going to call it for this video. As always guys, thanks for watching, uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, most importantly, game on.